We're in the central cathedral. And actually, getting caught by breaking the taboo was the fastest and the smartest thing we could have done to get close to Alice. Just like, break the rule, bro. And then we can go to the... They're gonna take us. Like, what were we trying to do? Just like, train and train and spend all these years to then become an Integrity Knight? I don't know. That was a pretty smart... I mean, it's, uh, that was a pretty smart way to get in, even though it was accidental. Now, what's going on? Alice doesn't remember. Either she is a clone that's, you know, they've... I don't think she's a clone. I think that they simply wiped her memory. It's just, I keep thinking that maybe they're making clones of potential uh, NPCs that was willing to break the taboo in Nexa because of what Pikoka said. They're looking for people that's capable of breaking that shit. And then there is also like these integrity knights and the explanation from Eldry or whatever that guy's name at the end kind of confused me because like, what was the logic? You either become an integrity knight by, honestly, I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's begin today's reaction. Familiar. Why familiar? But we don't have a sword though. We just have chains. Oh, really? With the whip? That's kind of kinky. You're gonna fucking whip us? Armament! Enhance armament! Just like Kito's sword! You get bigger! Divine object mentioned, frost scale whip, just like the blue rose sword, another divine object. Yeah, they broke that much. What? With this chain? Good luck! The Sage of the Library. Okay. Oh, the counter immediately. What the fuck? I don't know we could do this shit. That's pretty cool. System core. Blah, blah, blah. There's like four separate parts of like the enchantments. It's pretty cool. The plan was to obviously create the smoke so that we can get like a fast attack in. That was strategy. It's mild! How much damage? Did he smile there? Because Kirito was able to dodge? Right? But then he's like, ah, you're kind of a shitter regardless. And remember, Yuji was around somewhere. Kirito's, you know, making the distraction, then you just gonna hit him hard. He doesn't really seem evil. Oh! Yuji! <laughs> Fucking idiot. Why'd you scream? Uh, he already noticed by the time, you know, he got there. You shouldn't scream during a sneak attack, though. Yikes. Okay! Got the whip! Yo, he's bleeding! That move, that combat style. What Kirito's doing right now with the chains? He's probably mentioning stuff about Aincrad shit, right? Or, never mind. The other shit we learned at the academy. Okay, this is the thing. Summoned to the human realm as an integrity knight a month ago. How did Alice become an integrity knight? But she broke the fucking taboo index. That's what I was trying to say in the intro section. Broke the taboo index, was supposed to get executed, presumably had her memories washed. I don't think this guy has his memories washed. He's just... Where was he before? What is an anti-human realm? What is the opposite of a human realm? The... The underworld? Dark territory? Shit. A human realm? I don't know. <laughs> Summoning. Hmm. <laughs> Yuji, Finish! What? Release recollection? The whip becomes a snake? You cheated there! No, he didn't cheat. That felt a little Kaiba esque, though. Just like in the season one duel when Kirito was about to get a, about to win and he fucking used the time hacks. What the fuck is release recollection? Suddenly. The whip became a snake. That's what you're releasing. I don't fucking know. You said no sword! 
肩も何もない攻めだが記憶解放の大きな Memory Release Skill We're getting to understand new mechanics of Integrity Knights Does everybody have a Memory Release Skill? Okay この Eldrie に He's actually teaching us a lot today Eldrie Where have you heard that name? Eldrie あなたは第一代表剣士そして四帝国統一大会で優勝してブルーグ Oh shit 私がエルドリエ Memory wipe, memory wipe. So his memory did get wiped. Because, like, Yuji knows, but he doesn't know. Because his memory got wiped by the church, just like how Alice's memories got wiped. Wolfsburg, Eldrie. Interesting. Summoned to the human realm a month ago. But where do you think you were before that? Where were you if it's not for the human realm? I don't fucking know. That's what the AI just thinks. The memory, the memory wipe it makes them think that they were summoned here to the human. Where do you think you were before, bro? Who are you? Oh, shit, we're getting a panic attack, bro. No, he's panicking hard. I wonder if it's because he was programmed to just. Stray away from the past. If you got your memory wiped, then it's like a taboo to like get your memories back. Or like he knows, but he knows that it's taboo. You know, like he knows that he is Eldred Wolfsburg. I don't know. I think it's the memories did get wiped, and now he's getting like self-conscious of like, holy shit, that sounds familiar, but it can't be. I am this integrity knight. He's he's under exactly identity crisis, bro. Is having a panic attack because he knows it's true, but it's like it can't be true. <laughs> Pontifex? Pontifex, our administrator Sama, you know, being at the top of the central cathedral, the highest ranking of the church, remember? Huh. What? Hello? Are you good? Is he dead? Probably. What is that though? It's the more things that we say about his real past, the more that the purple rectangle thing will come out of his head? I'm not sure. This must be what they insert into these characters to make them wipe their memories, or at least that's what the church is doing probably, right? And then it starts to detract as soon as he starts to calm down more. The more we confront his past, the more it's gonna come out? <laughs> You're secretly gay and fucked your cousin that one summer! Ooh! Ooh! How did you know? Oh my ears! Dragon Rider! What's number are you? Tempting a bride and tempting what? Tempting them to remember their actual fucking past, bro? Holy shit. I wonder if this is the same guy. No, no, no. The guy that we saw had silver armor. This guy has red armor. Yo, he got the Eugene armor from ALO, the salamanders, man. <laughs> These are cannons, not even arrows. <laughs> Split? That ain't Yui? It's that voice again! Is that the voice that taught him how to use the fucking, you know, uh, system arts or some shit during the flower resurrection scene? We got the hacks! No, 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 trust the plan! This guy has really shitty aim. Like, damn, he didn't hit a single fucking error after that one, bro. <laughs> the title of today's episode was Something of the Library. So I'm gonna assume that this is this character. Now, regarding the events of what happened just there, with like, you know, the 31st Integrity Night, it is just as simple as every Integrity Night, I'm not sure if everyone, but at least that one was, and maybe Alice's too. Memories are wiped. They're inserted this purple rectangle thing. The more you confront them of their past and past memories, the more that it comes out. And once it comes out all the way, then I'm going to assume that they are themselves. On the other side for Alice, I'm sure it's the same case as well. Um, what else do we learn? Memory recollection skill? 
like release recollection. It's almost like a fucking Shikai. That's what it is. It's straight up release Shikai from Bankai, right? And sorry, from Bleach. You have a fucking regular whip, then he released the fucking Shikai, you know, release recollection, and then it became a fucking serpent thing. So there's that mechanic for the integrity knights as well. Is there anything else? I'm pretty sure that's all the important plot shit so far. Cool. Library? Lolly? Lolly? Who are you? Never seen her before. Sage of the library. What's her name? Immediately tells her name. I mean, we can trust her. Okay. I wonder if this is a developer. Is this a GM? They'll leave the door. No one can enter this domain. It's her domain. Great library is an actual place? Every system command. GM? GM from Wrath? Whoa! Cardinal! That's a reference back to the Cardinal AI system, remember? Back in Season 1. Now I'm just trying to figure out if this is an actual fucking simulation NPC or if this is someone, you know, like a Wrath employee. I don't fucking know. Regulator of the world. I mean, the Cardinal at the end of the day was just an AI system that was focused on regulating SAO in Season 1. So maybe this is the same thing and it's not a Wrath employee, not like a... Yeah, it's basically UEV2, pretty much, right? Really? How was the world created? Nah, 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 they're selling fucking- they don't have the truth here, bro. What, am I gonna open up a fucking book? And they're gonna tell me? The fucking, uh, what's it called? The fucking system design of how you created the simulation with code? No, you're not gonna fucking tell me that. You're gonna tell me some bullshit Bible stories about how the God one day existed, you know, and they created this. Like, come on, now this ain't the real truth. Free your chains. Free your chains. She can just do that, huh? Huh. Yujiro's kinda cold. Yujiro's gonna get sick. Yujiro pissed his pants. Why, why is Yujiro so wet right now? Why is he melting? The fuck? Oh, the fountain, right, the fountain scene. True, true, true. So was it this girl that also helped us during the flower scene? Because there's a couple different times when an unknown voice reached out to us. Now, one time that reached out to Kirito saying, find me at the top of the central cathedral, I think... It, it was in the shape of Alice. I don't think that was Cardinal. The flower scene was weird as fuck. And I'm like, who could have helped us? I don't think it was the same person that taught us. And now we have this girl helping us. I don't fucking know. Alone time with Kirito. What's up? Record of creation is an artificial. Fabricated by the Pontifex of the Axiom Church. And Pontifex was the name of the administrator Sama, right? I love how she waited until Yujiro went away to say this. Because if she said this to Yujiro, it would have like shattered his like reality. You know? But Kirito, she feels fine with. Because she understands that Kirito is different from Yujiro. Okay. Got it. Super accounts, admin accounts, although the names of gods have been registered as admin accounts for emergency. So like, like Solax or whatever the god, like Vec, Vec, Vesta, Vecta, you know, all those different gods. Those admin accounts do exist. So like system call summoning Lord of the Underworld, Vecta or some shit, Lord of Darkness, that would work? No human from the outside world has ever made use of them. And now I don't understand when you say outside world. Are you referring to, you know, the outside world that we know as is? Or are you saying it's outside of this domain? I'm gonna assume that it's the former, like, outside world. She knows that we're in here, full diving shit. She's saying specific jargon about admin accounts and shit like that. I don't know, I, it just sounds like she's really leaning towards... Like she knows that we're real. Got it, GM? GM? Wrath? Okay! Got it! Unregistered user. Well, 
it should be Wrath. Right? It, it, I'm sure they'll explain. It, it should be Wrath employee. Because who, who else would have this technology that's allowed, right? No. It's not. We're going back to the whole cardinal AI system. It's basically still just Yui. Yeah, season one. Yui, my daughter. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah. I have a daughter. Cardinal daughter. What are we eating? Just summons food. Dumplings. She's absolute fucking hacks, man. So she's only got in this library and nowhere else. That's fucked up. Wrath created the cardinal system here and she just has to sit here. It's like a prison. She can't fucking get out. And she's just forced to just like be here forever. I bet she's so lonely. She got nothing to do. She's just stuck. Pontifex can actually reach out to the outer world. Administrator Sama. It must be an actual player then, right? It must be someone like Kirito that's link started. <laughs> Actual gods? Yeah. Earth, sun, creation, and dark goddess. So like these gods, so two dudes, two girls, and I'm not sure if they still exist, but these were the original god, like GMs that showed up to build this place. Now I wonder how much they're... Okay. Remember that episode? Where Asna was looking at a Wrath employee, all sus. And she was like, remember that? What did he have? He had Rudy hair. The rat tail. This guy has rat tail. Is that dev the same guy? I don't know. I'm just, just, trying to, just trying to fucking point out some things. But two girls, two guys. Okay, okay. Cut. This is funny. <laughs> Putting the kids to fucking work. This is hilarious to me. Yeah, that's right. The kids are yearning for the fucking farmland. Well, this guy did a fucking terrible job. Morality and differentiation between good and evil, which will become the basis of the taboo index. This taboo index is so fucking corrupt. Whoever made that rule about the fucking nobility is fucking bullshit, bro. This guy fucked it up, dude. Okay. ぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜんたぜん
I don't know, Quinella isn't so nice, guys. This, this smile is kind of scaring me, man. <gasps> no! It's so cute! She's the you monster! Absolute fucking sociopath. One of the first early signs of your child becoming a serial killer is they start fucking killing animals, man. That's exactly what we used. Kirito used the exact same thing, except it wasn't a single arrow. That's fucked. Her system level went up, though. She going on just- Oh, she is farming. She is fucking farming so much EXP with system control authority. <laughs> this is a mistake. Quinella, monster. Fucking monster. But what does this mean? It means that you get EXP when you obviously use system call to kill monsters. Like, it's not enough just simply using system call and use an inanimate object. You need to actually take a monster's life, and then that is EXP earned. <laughs> Bald. Hiru. Oh, I can walk! A miracle! And this is literally the greatest example one could give on how religion is used to oppress the ignorant and the uneducated, bro. Because, like, this is not the work of God. This is simply her understanding more information. But the ignorant people who are uneducated thinks that this is superstition. And once you have these people who are so desperate clinging onto any sort of hope, and if you can give them that, that's how you create a fucking cult. And that's what we're doing right now. Scary girl, man. <laughs> Cathedral. But it's so short. Wait, how did they get it bigger and bigger? Because like this at the top was already there. But, like, the bottom floors kept on getting added, you know? <laughs> How did this work? Yo, did she literally force the slaves to fucking build a pyramid? Just like the cathedral, bro? Like, is that what's going on here? Yeah, it's getting bigger and bigger. Written law. Taboo index? No one with a higher authority level than mine will ever appear. <laughs> what a bullshit fucking rule. But... I thought the mental image, you remember that mechanic that if you have some little sort of confidence and, you know, you just believe in yourself, you can rewrite the rules of this world, but all right, she basically put everyone's level cap below hers. Hunting is taboo, so you can't raise the levels because you get EXP if you use system call. <sighs> um, there was that one mechanic regarding the flowers though, remember? Something about how even though Kirito did not have the system authority, he was able to be a conduit. I forget the exact logic in the flower resurrection scene, but Kirito was able to harness the system call without actually having the authority role. Remember that shit? Yeah, no one's gonna kill because they get EXP that way. Taboo index. Oh, she's turned into a MILF now. And now she needs police to enforce the rule, the integrity knights. Oh, Baba! Hag! What's she gonna do? What, what, what is Baba gonna do to retain the eternal youth? Are we going back? Remember the conspiracy that I've been talking about in the past? About how, like, politicians, you know, they take on the fetus stem cells to look younger and continue to live, durability transfer, like... Is she gonna figure out some sort of mechanics so she can retain youthful forever and ever and ever? By having sacrifices? Just fucking takes the, like, a fetus durability and implants it into herself and it gives her youth? And the empire gets bigger and bigger. Baba, you're getting too old now! But I'm gonna assume that Quinella eventually becomes that... The blue hair girl, what was her name? Petr- Pen Pont Pontifus or some shit? Open list. Open list. I ain't seeing anything. You're not moving your hands. You gotta do this. Oh, that's a lot of blood. She about to die. Oh, it's working? Huh? She just tried to open list, read list. Was she literally gambling? She was literally just saying random call. She fucking just brute forced it her entire life. 
She was like, I know that this list exists that has the like the forbidden, like the actual truth. I don't know the command. So for the rest of my life, I'm gonna say random shit until I can read the fucking list. It's genius. <laughs> kind of stupid, but genius, you know? Stupid because you're brute forcing it, but genius that she even thought about such a fucking plan and executed it. Holy shit. Right before she died, inspect list is the actual command. Did she? I don't know. List. Yeah. Inspect entire command list. All the commands we can use. Yeah. Thermal, cryogenic, aerial, aquatic, metallic, crystalline, luminous, umbral, probably is dark, right? Yeah. Immortality. And then skincare routine. <laughs> <laughs> and now Baba has turned into an immortal girl, right? This is amazing, bro. You gotta fucking respect the hustle from Quinella. Did she get help from the other side? How would she have known that such a list exists? She gambled because she knew that the system commands existed and perhaps that there is this ultimate, you know, comp compilation of all the different commands and she fucking did it. And she changed her hair color too. <laughs> Now what? Kinda looks like Asuna here. Like, if you colored Asuna's hair color, this is Asuna's face, bro. Because Cardinal System obviously has the highest authority because it's an actual fucking AI that's supposed to moderate the entire simulation, right? And now, Quinella is, is now going to literally surpass Cardinal itself. She burned the primary command given to the cardinal system. Primary command. Onto her own fluck like as a non-edible principle of behavior. I'm not really sure what's happening, but this is Yujiro's eye that happens too with the system alert. She fused together. This is too big brain for me. But she is one with the cardinal now. And Merciless is dealing with anything that skews the balance as soon as he's detected. Basically buffs and nerfs. Light? And then she got blue hair. She don't eat, drink, nothing. So like, it sounds like everything is just frozen. Her durability, like, everything about it is just locked if she doesn't have to eat, drink, or anything. Maybe she just surpassed, basically, humanity. Whatever humanity existed in this world and has now become, basically, the system itself. I will be administrator-sama. Now, what does pontifex actually mean in English? Right? That is an actual term, right? Pontifex. What is the definition of pontifex? Uh, pontifex basically is a member of the council of priests in ancient Rome. What is the meaning of pontifex? The word pontifex is Latin. It was used for ancient Rome to designate a member of the College of Pontiffs. Uh, basically just executive council. Uh, Pope. Pont Latin term pontifex means bridge builder. It's just a fancy word. Fancy Latin word to denote that she is like, oh, literally pope of the church. Well, that's it. Yeah, church pope. Highest order of the church. It's that simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Asna. Dude, it's Asna! It's evil Asna, bro! She's administrator! And that's today's episode of SAO, and... You know what the craziest shit is? You would think that the best part of the episode is simply the Integrity Knight versus Kirito and Yu-Gi-Oh! But no. It's the yapping. It's the lore. It's the world building, how everything came to be. Shit like this just blows me away from SAO. Even the episodes, remember, when we were outside and Asuna was trying to figure out what's going on and Kikoko explaining everything going on? I was so fucking into that shit. I do love SAO when it has cool hype fights. But the lore, man, oh my god. Getting closer to the truth. This is so amazing. So what do we know from today's episode? The Integrity Knights are summoned. Summoned into the human realm, whatever that means. But basically, they're taking existing people and fucking wiping their memories. They have this rod. They have this, like, rectangle thing that gets inserted and it replaces their memories. But the more that you confront them about their actual past life, 
the more it comes out and the more that we'll be able to realize what's going on. We learned about a new mechanic for Integrity Knights using a uh, memory recollection skill or something. Release basically like a Shikai in Bleach, which is really fucking cool. Aside from that, um, the Sage of the Library. So she is literally Cardinal, right? Cardinal of the Admins. Sorry, Cardinal of this game. We know about that from Season 1. And then more lore about how this place became to be. And it's funny that Yuji is still in the bathroom. It's funny, funny that Yuji is still in the bathroom. But basically... Uh, in the past, four GMs went in and they tried to uphold, uh, you know, pr just basically tr try to grow these kids properly. But one of the four was kind of evil and he has a rat's tail and I'm not sure if it really matters what the employee that Asna saw at the, you know, last episode when she was eyeing one of the employees with the rat tail. But the rat tail guy pretty much, you know, uh, introduced original sin to people here. But I wonder if this was intentional. Because Kikoka said that he is looking for candidates that's able to kill to break the Taboo Index. If you introduce this sin, does that not create an environment where you can... I don't know, break rules? So the more I think about it, I thought that this guy fucked up and he got fired, but like... Did they intentionally do this? I don't, I don't really know. I, it, intuitively, it might make sense because they're trying to make people to break the fucking rules. I don't know even when that even happened. Maybe they thought of that shit in the way in the future. But Quinella was a person. She was one of the twin sisters of Cardinal. And she learned how to use system arts and at a young age figured out that if you kill monsters using sacred, you know, sacred arts, your sacred art authority will level up. And that's why she bans everybody from killing, right? Because if you do that, your sacred arts levels up. I'm not sure about the church's, you know, teaching Serka or, you know, Alice on how to raise that shit, but she did this shit because she didn't want anyone else to have power. Utilizing the power of religion and, you know, abusing, manipulating these desperate and ignorant people, she got to this basically utmost highest ranking in this world and created an entire church around her. And then, as she realized that her life is simply mortal and she's about to die, she was grinding every day trying to get the right system command. I can't believe how epic this is. It's simply her just saying system call over and over. It took me a while to realize like, what's she doing? Open list, read list, inspect list, and it showed up and I'm like, oh, holy shit. That actually blew my mind. It's like, this is like peak essay or writing. Something as nerdy as this, just her just spamming random commands, you wouldn't think it's hype, but somehow they make this shit so fucking hype. She brute forces it, basically surpasses her mortal self, and now fused with the cardinal system. And now she acts as the admin of this world. And that's pretty much it. Uh, and now she acts as the pontifex, the pope of the church. She has the ability to reach to the outer world, and I want to understand... What is the relationship now with Pontifex and Wrath? How does Kikoko, Higa, and other developers of Wrath see Pontifex? They must know of her existence. If she has power to contact the outer world, how does that shit work? I don't know. We gotta see more to figure out. And yes, she really looks like Asuna to me. And that's it for me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.